hi friends welcome back to my channel today's topic is i am going to discuss regarding the problem on fly leveling as one of my student requested to do this because of this lockdown uh, coming to this one uh, there is one problem see here during the fly leveling the following note is made that is back side intermediate uh, four sides are given so you all know that for fly leveling only two will be taken now here these are the values 0 0.620 then this is the four side next this is the back side four side back side four side back side four side and last one is back side is okay. generally surveying should be ended with the four side but here the value is ended with the some back side means there is some extra is to be done by us so that we see right now the first back side was taken on a benchmark of rl 100 meters from the last back side, it is required to set 4 pegs each at a distance of 30 meters on a rising gradient of 1 in 200. Now see, from here, this is the last back side. From here, you are supposed to fix how many pegs? 4 pegs. At what distance each? Each at 30 meters. Again, one more condition is given as rising gradient of 1 in 200. So, enter these notes in the form of a level book and calculate the calculate the RL on each peg by rise and fall method. Also, calculate the staff reading on each peg. Calculate the staff reading on each peg. Now here, so uh, by rise and fall method means this is the pro forma station back side intermediate side four side rise fall rl and remarks so uh, this is a pro forma back side intermediate four side rise fall rl and remarks so next uh, based upon the data given now based upon the data given i have filled up this uh, tabular column so first back side is 0 0.620 later on we have uh, written this one again this one next 1 1.350 1.40 1.530 2.630 2.410 and this is 100 rl on benchmark where the first back set has been taken this is the only given data right now specially mentioned regarding the rise and fall method now the preceding value minus succeeding value should be done so first this value will be taken next staff reading will be taken on a four side so this minus this one i got some minus value of 1.820 so whatever the value you are getting here if it is a minus right in a fall column and if it is a plus you write in a rise column okay so here 0 0.620 this uh, 2.440 i got around 1.820 next one is uh, 2.050 minus this one i got plus because higher value minus lower value i got this one similar way i have calculated and i got all the values next uh, i calculated the rl see here uh, rl is 100 100 minus of 1.820 I will be getting 98.180 and remaining this one is positive so this plus this one i will be getting this one next here this is also you add this to this one you will be getting this one just like this okay next 99.770 plus 0.220 19.990 so till that as per the given data we have calculated this one next now here comes the from this back side every 30 meters you are supposed to fix the peg and he said to note these staff reading values in the nodes as a level book and also calculate the rls now based upon the concept he has given now see here for every 200 meters there is a 1 meter rise that is 1 in 200 raising gradient he said so uh, some basic interpolation this is for 200 meters 1 meter rise for 30 meters how much so 30 into 1 divided by 200 0 0.15 so 30 meters common interval here and rising gradient so common so rising um, uh, because of it is being rise i have written in rise format 0 0.15 0 0.15 0 0.15 0 0.15 like that now 
for this value to be gotten written in rise the value should be written here now what is this column intermediate from the last back side he said this is the last back side is mentioned means there will be no further back sides and always you are supposed to close with the four side that you keep in mind always you are supposed to close with the four side so based upon that only what i have written is i have got all the rising gradients now for this value should be written in rise this intermediate value staff station should be lesser than the value what we are going to deduct so 2.420 minus 0.150 you will be getting this one similarly this minus this reverse order that's all 2.270 minus 1.150 2.120 okay like that the last reading i are supposed to write in four side because here the survey closes always the survey should be closed with a four side only next based upon this one as these are all these things are in what rising so 99.990 plus 0.150 like that i have calculated now whether our things what we have done is correct or not we have to check so there is arithmetical check sum of back side minus sum of four side equals to sum of rise minus sum of fall equals to last rl minus first rl this is the check for uh, rise and fall method so if i add all these back sides i got a value of 9.140 and if i go right uh, sorry add all the four sides values including this 1.820 i got 8.550 and sum of rise 2.410 and sum of fall 1.870 and uh, last rl this one first one so based upon this one now here 9.140 back side minus 8.550 if i do it i got 0.590 and sum of rise is 2.410 Minus 1.820.590, and the last rl is how much? 100.590. First rl is how much? It is 100. So 0.50. So I think uh, it is clear for all the members who has been seeing uh, seeing this video. Hope you understood. Please, uh, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, comment if you got any doubts. And not only this one if you got any doubts in regarding any of the civil engineering subjects other than mpc please do comment that comment will be the content of my next video thank you